Are you looking to completely customize the design of your WordPress website? So what you're gonna need is a good theme or page builder that allows you to customize as much as you can in as simple a way as possible. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that using the Divi theme, which is incredibly powerful and easy to use for almost anyone and allows you to take complete control of your WordPress website and the design and look of each page. Hi, my name is Wade McMaster and I help content creators build better websites and build better content online so they can reach more people and grow their brand. So as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna go over the, how to use the Divi theme to build a customized website. Now there's a few different ways that uh, you can do that even with the Divi theme and I'm gonna be touching on the key points to make that happen. But if you're looking for something that's really in depth and walks you through the majority of the process and how things work, I've also got a series of videos in a playlist below you can check out if you really want to dive in deep and learn about this theme. Now it's simple to get started. All you need to do is get a copy of the Divi theme, upload, activate it in WordPress, and you're good to go. Now, if you haven't got a copy of the Divi theme, you can get it using the link on the screen right now. However, that is an affiliate link, so I do make commission if you decide to purchase. However, this has been my number one theme that I've used on pretty much every website I've built in the last five or six years, and you won't regret buying it because of simply how powerful and easy it is to use and get the results that you're after. So once the theme is activated, there's a few ways you can go about this. The first thing you have to do, of course, is go into your theme settings. So you've got your Divi theme settings in the dashboard. You head down that left menu into the Divi theme options. In there, you can upload your logo and set some of the options to get things the way you want. Things like turning on smooth scrolling or enqueuing certain things like Google Maps, having things like your social media icons displaying in your footer, header. Go through, check out those options and make sure you're happy with everything and looking the way you want. There are also a bunch of other options there. You can see those top tabs cycle through, check out what you need and what your preferences are, but you can always come back and change them later. And Divi does have some really powerful performance options that you can use. Uh, however, I tend to turn off the CSS options if I start to get issues with my website and how it displays, but uh, it's good to sort of experiment with these and see how you go in order to get the, your website loading as quickly as possible. So once you have the theme installed and your options set up with your logo uploaded, I generally then would recommend going to the theme customizer. So this allows you to go in and set the basic style of your website. This is where you can basically design how the header looks on your website with your logo and your navigation. And there's a few different options there to get that looking a certain way. You can have something like the simple like the logo with a bit of text on the side. You can have a centered sort of style or even like a full screen navigation, which is pretty nifty to, to play with as well. Also, you can set other things up like your global fonts, colors, buttons, all of the general and base styles of your website can be found in the theme customizer. So I generally go in there next, get things looking the way you want with your colors and fonts, etc. And then you can actually go on and things will get much easier because you have that base theme and it makes it consistent across the website. It's now easier to start building things such as pages and templates across the rest of your website. And you can always come back later and change any of these settings if you want to update the appearance of your website at any time. Now, one thing that's really cool about Theme Customizer is that you can also import and export settings. This is great for web designers. You can actually export, import and export pretty much anything in the Divi theme. And then if you build it off site, you can simply import it to redesign an existing site quite quickly because that way you can work on another sort of test website or server and then import those settings within a few clicks. It allows you to really quickly sort of move your designs around and back them up at will. Now where you go from there gets a little bit creative because you have two options of what you can use to create designs for your website. There's the page builder and then the theme builder. First of all, the page builder is software that will allow you to go in and just sort of change the design and layout for each individual page. It just applies to one page at a time and it's very easy to use and allows you to create some pretty awesome layouts. The theme builder takes this page builder or visual builder to the next level. It allows you to use that customized building software to build a template for various areas of your website. This could be for every page, post, product, or even individual areas such as your 404 page, search results. So that way you can completely control the layout of these areas and apply them to different areas of the website. You can disable them on certain pages or even just apply them to certain pages. You have full control over how your template looks by using the page builder or visual builder to create a customized drag and drop design across the board for your website. But to start off with, we're gonna talk about the page builder. So I quite often use this mainly for home pages or pages that I really want to have completely unique from the rest of the website. But you can use this wherever you want on a page by page or post by post 
basis. The idea is you can use the visual builder or you can even use different versions of the interface which take away the visual aspects if you rather look at things in a more structured fashion and you can add in things like sections that actually create like these large uh, sort of like boxed areas where you can then add in little rows with various numbers of columns. So therefore you can create content areas with a single column, two columns, or even up to five or six columns, and you get to then use that grid to create your layout. Because within those columns, you can add in what are called modules. And these modules include things such as the basics, as like text, images, uh, contact forms, uh, galleries, slideshows. There's a whole bunch of modules that come with the Divi theme. And then there are also these advanced modules that allow you to go in and add other things such as little timers, uh, music players, galleries, and there's a whole bunch of modules that you can go through and explore, which I have in the video below, and create a very, very customized site. And then from there, each module has a set of design options, very in-depth design options where you can go through, set up the basics of the content, and then also adjust things like text size, color, even adding background colors, borders and shadows, various animations, and even setting rules as to how these things should display from device to device. So you can set up something to display a certain way on desktop, and then change the way that displays on a smartphone. Once you go through and build your page, you can save it at any time. You can even add that page layout to your library and then import it onto another page to edit later. One of the coolest things about this too is that you can create things such as global modules or global areas that if you insert across the site, all you need to do is change it once in one place and it will update across the entire website. So the page builder is really a nifty, nifty tool for creating customized pages. It's visual so you can see exactly what you're getting while you're working on it and you can easily save, update and even create backups of layouts if you want to and uh, sort of work that way. But getting on to the theme builder, the theme builder is another hugely powerful tool. As I mentioned, it uses the page builder editor so you can create templates for your site. The first thing is you can go ahead and create a custom header template because the theme customizer has a lot of different layouts and a lot of different options. But if you need something very specific, you can then go through and use the page builder to add in any of the modules that you've seen in the, in the page by page builder and create a customized header that looks and feels a certain way or has certain elements you normally wouldn't find in your header. This allows you to also then apply those different controls across devices so you control how the header looks from say a desktop to a smartphone. So it's really powerful for customizing the header of your website and you can even do things such as add in call to actions under the navigation that show up across the board or on certain areas. So it's a really great way to take control of your navigation and header that way if you really want to get the website uh, looking and acting a very particular way. On top of that, you can then create different header areas for different sections of the site. So maybe you want to simplify your header in a, in a certain section, or maybe you want it to just show certain menu options when people are going to say a certain category of your site, or when people are reading blog posts, maybe you just want to make it smaller. You can change the header from area to area and completely customize things that way as well. Now you can also apply this to your footer area and even include widget modules that allow you to use WordPress's widget area to create content there. But it can also be handy for adding, again, call to actions at the bottom of a page. Something that shows up globally or in certain sections, you can actually create uh, any level of design that will appear at the bottom of each page or each area because with your footer, it's, there's no limit to how much you can build in there. You can make it as small or as big as you want and take complete control of your footer as well. Where it also gets interesting is the fact that when you're creating a content area for either your global website or for certain areas of the website, like I said, posts, pages, products, or even specific categories of posts, you can really drill down and pick individual areas to apply these designs to. And then within that content area, you can add where your page title goes, where the content goes, even adding in where you want the comments or comment form to show up. And you can even choose not to have those on there. You can add in your sidebar, add in all those dynamic areas, and then that will allow you to go and use the basic WordPress block editor for your posts and pages on those templates if you choose to and really simplify your whole process. This is especially great for blog posts because quite often using the Divi Builder to write a blog post can be a very long and complicated way to do it. 
But by setting these templates up in the Divi theme builder, it's very easy to go ahead and create that so that all you have to do is create a new post, type it into the basic editor, and you get the layout that you want because Divi will display the content where you want it to, display the page header where you want it to, and even give you control over things such as whether you want to show the page meta, the featured image, where that displays. You have complete control over each area within that page. And then of course, this extends to products, things such as adding where your product image goes, where the product description, long description, all those various areas, it actually has all those there ready to go and you just simply pop those in where you want to take full control of a product. And again, this extends across the board for all of the page types on WordPress. So it's incredibly powerful and you can create as many builder layouts as you want to get the look you want across the board. When I'm creating a website, I generally try my best to create a homepage with that page builder and then I'll create a basic template across the board for the other pages. So we have that consistency. We have a home page that's built to sort of take people to where they want to go and then those pages have a consistent look to them so you can quite easily and quickly build an entire website layout in less than a day or even just a few hours and all you need to do then is add basic content into those pages. So if you're looking to work quickly, the theme builder is a great way to have a customized uh, sort of design for your entire website and it doesn't take too long to actually create. Now, as I said before, the main power of this theme is in that page builder. Like I said, you've got the visual builder, you've got various areas, it's easy to save, you can change mobile options, you can even edit within various window sizes to see how things are gonna look. Is once you get a hold and get a grasp of that visual editor, it's quite easy to learn how to build almost anything in Divi. You just need to learn a few of the basics, such as you know understanding sort of modules, understanding your columns, and certain little things, such as understanding how margins and padding work, which is very easy. If you're looking to create space around an object, you use a margin. If you wanna create space within an object to move things away from the edge, you work on padding. All these options are there and you can see exactly it's very easy to go in and change those things. But if you're a more advanced user, there are also CSS settings. You can add in custom classes and IDs and even go into the CSS editor there or just use the basic custom CSS that comes with WordPress to further customize a the theme. You have full control regardless of how basic your skill set is or if it's very advanced, you have all the options there to work from that spectrum, from basic to advanced. The best thing to do is come up with a plan, experiment, and then once you've worked out your preferred way to use Divi for your website, creating websites and setting them up so you don't have to do as much work is very easy. You just get to go in, change your content around and do what you need to in the basic editor or wherever you want to, and then you can reserve that more advanced editing for when you really need it. Or if you enjoy it, use it as much as you want. Now, once again, if you haven't got Divi, check out the link on the screen and go grab copy there. Again, it's an affiliate link I earn a commission from. But like I said, I've used this to build over 100 websites and is well and truly paid for itself thousands of times over. And if you're looking to get in depth on how to keep going further with this and get down to the nitty gritty, check out that playlist uh, link in the description below. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, keep going from there. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you again soon.